That's my flute skill, sorry. That's, that's as good as it gets. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hands up if you've heard that melody today. I don't know what this is. Dean. Subliminal. Not yet. I don't know what that is. What's this? We're, rated, we're reminding you all this is an M-rated game, so if we do anything inappropriate, you can I just... Yeah, yeah. M-rated panel yes. coming up. Children, cover your ears. No. Rebecca, but are you ready to go? We are about to begin Tenno Live 2018 from TennoCon. Oh. Oh, yeah, it was a white shirt day. Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. It's very important to start every keynote. It's a Comey board. Yeah. <laughs> White's oh, about to win. Or Comey board, yeah. 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 Exactly. I'm going to win. But yes, hello, everyone. Welcome to our sort of finale of our third ever TennoCon. It's pretty insane that this hour has hit us. I kind of can't believe it, you guys. I'll quickly, you can take a moment to introduce yourself to the viewers at home that are watching. Maybe some people here might need a refresher. Scott, why don't we start with you? My name is Scott McGregor. I'm the di design director here at DE and on Warframe. Uh, I'm Steve Sinclair. I'm the creative director on Warframe. Thanks for coming. I'm Rebecca Ford. I work on the community team with awesome people. Space Bomb! <laughs> I'm Jeff Crooks, I'm the Art and Animation Director. And uh, I'm Sheldon Carter, I'm the Studio General Manager. Prime Chamber. As I look around, I see faces that have been here every year. I see the DE staff that have made this next hour possible, so huge thank you to them. And I also, of course, if you watched our prize bonanza earlier, we have to thank our sponsors like AMD, NVIDIA, Razer, Asus, and of course Twitch, which if you're watching on Twitch right now, there is an Ash Prime Twitch drop for you. And if you're in the audience, don't worry, we're going to get you all one too within the next two weeks. So don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah, we're, we're just going to make sure that we have all your Eventbrite information and we'll just make sure within the next two weeks you'll all have one in your accounts, fear not. Um, and another pretty exciting thing with, uh, you know, we love being a part of Twitch Prime with Prime. As you guys know, you can get Trinity Prime right now for watching. But Amazon has this thing called Prime Day, which we are participating in this year on the 12th. They, did they take the name Prime from us? <laughs> they, they did not. Oh, wow. Nope. It's pretty cool. It's a free exclusive coming with Prime Day. That's, imp that's impressive. Starts uh, July 12th. You can take advantage of that on the old interwebs, and uh, it's pretty exciting. Fantastic. Yes. I have the classic three pieces of printer paper that we do on every dev stream here, just trying to keep things going. But, that's like, the agenda? That's the agenda. The drone through the agenda the way. Dr the drone launched yeah. this, like, too yeah. far. But um, this has been the craziest year for cosplay at TennoCon. Oh yes, my God! Yes. 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 In fact, we have a ten thousand dollar Canadian prize. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> uh, <laughs> so that might buy you one of Steve's designer space hats. And um, I have been told the uh, through judge the judging panel and everything that happened with the cosplay, uh, we have our winner here, and the winner, winner, winner who will be invited on stage to show off their costume is none other than that guy to the left representing Harrow. Yeah. Let's see, I haven't even seen this yet. All right, let's take a look. On you get, come on stage. Come on stage. All right. Whoa, okay. Okay. If you could put on your helmet, let's see what, I, I mean, maybe you can't see, but, oh, okay. You can stand. You look fantastic, congratulations. It's a pleasure it to meet on. you, Harrow. Put it on. Put it on. Put it on. Put it on, yeah! Is 
this your first TennoCon? No, I've been here every year. Awesome, and how long did it take you to make this? Uh, my girlfriend started on Monday. What? <laughs> um, let's get a new winner. Your girlfriend wins. Yeah, she wins. <laughs> okay. The model. Does she get the money? Does she get the <laughs> Yes, definitely. <laughs> awesome, well, Megan will take all your information over there. So thank you so much. That was awesome. I am so excited. Uh, I, I didn't get to see the cosplay entirely, but I'm uh, blown away. Uh, Sheldon, we're doing a, a live stream, eh? Dude. Dude. Dude, you gotta... Dude, I know you're addicted to Zelda. <laughs> for the first... Uh, for the first time in history... We're introducing another developer on the stage of Ten Alive, Adam. How are you doing, everybody? I'm Adam Creighton from Panic Button. So I'm really excited by whatever Sheldon is doing here. So we thought maybe we would show you a video about that. so excited and grateful to be part of what y'all are a part of and thank you we're excited to bring this game to a whole new audience and for you faithful this is a whole new way for you to play it wherever you are with what you have with you so thank you thank you adam we love Thanks, you adam. Adam. thank you <laughs> and we're done let's uh <laughs> that, that was it <laughs> roll credits i'm spent yeah so it's been so hard not to say anything about that, but the number uh, of tweets I get, like, "Hey, when is it?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's super exciting. Oh my god! Can't wait. Cool. Adam, yeah. um, of course, Adam, thank you so much. Thanks to the Panic Button team yeah. and Sheldon for your theatrics. Pulling out the prop, prop humor is really yeah, big in Canada it. still. So, yeah, it's all good. No, it's fine. Yeah, um, and it, uh, what's incredible is, is Panic Button has built a reputation to be the best developer on Switch, they know the hardware, they can get, they can work miracles with it. And to have them agree to work with us on Warframe was really, really flattering and a, and a big honor. So I can't wait uh, and hope that some of you will pick it up. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's very cheap. Yeah, it's free. It's free. Yes. It's a good deal. <laughs> good value. Uh, cool stuff to go through. This one, um, this is just a confirmation of a topic we talked about on a dev stream a while ago. A lot of you have been asking about the Prime Vault and how we're bringing it back because this is, can be controversial. There's a lot of thoughts about it. And I'd like to confirm that we're going to change it up a bit this year, but we are going to have the Prime Vault launching this summer with Nix and Rhino. So. Yeah. And there will be a uh, dual pack with the two of them with everything. There's going to be an individual pack, and then we're going to do two individual accessories packs as well. Woo! Yeah. And they're going to be at the they're going to be twenty dollars uh, for each accessories pack, and there's going to be some stuff in there which I the drone blew that off my page, so I can't uh, can't read that. The drone took it. It's okay. Drone ate your homework. It's, it's true. I can blame that drone for everything, and if you missed that, we have a camera drone that threw my stuff across the stage. So, uh, <laughs> if you like the best Warframe in the game, Nyx, or if you like Rhino, this is... Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um, great. So, um, if you are here at TennoCon, perhaps you had a syndicate in your bag and you're probably wondering which team won the syndicate uh, I'm wondering. competition here. And if you received the Perrin Sequence team, you are the winners. Good job, Perrin Sequence team. So, congratulations to anyone on... The... I didn't get a team, so... There's two people that are really excited. <laughs> there you go. Now, I, maybe some of you guys didn't make it to the art panel, and we like to incorporate some highlights from that to our show. Sure. So, Jeff being the art director, why don't we take a look at our first concept for a new deluxe skin? Because I totally know what we're showing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you've already seen this, act surprised. It's all acting. Yeah. It's cool. <laughs> oh! Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> 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 Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Stepan, who did some fan art and tweeted out, kind of did some amazing fan art for us, and then Rebecca reached out to him directly, and somehow he got the idea to do a next deluxe. I don't know how that happened, hmm. Uh, hmm. but it, he, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and but yeah, he came through. It's pretty amazing. And this it turned out amazing. And it basically does confirm we will be doing multiple deluxes for Warframes, which is something you guys have asked for yes. quite some time. We're kind of hitting that point where we have to kind of go through the cycle again. So we're starting to do plans for that. Yeah. Well, we teased concept art for a Vauban deluxe skin. Why not get a closer look at the model? Oh, oh man. Beautiful. Nice. Wow. <laughs> Good job, Eric. And if you've and already seen it, act Eric surprised. And, and their concept artist for it's right there. I see him. Boo. <laughs> Eric better. Hey, Eric and Greg. And perhaps you saw someone in Alad V cosplay walking around today, and they have done the limbo. Oh, oh, spoiler, spoiler. Oh, yeah. There we go. No, we're good, Dean. This is from Kaz. Yeah. And next up, Titania. Oh, <laughs> yep. We're just going through. Yeah, it's just a, this is just a slideshow. Yeah, it's That's just a slide show images. Yeah, your TennoCon yeah, experience is a slideshow this year. So, <laughs> <laughs> next up we have Neja. Oh my god. Work in progress. That's awesome. Yep. Yeah, and then I guess we're closing it out, right? Yeah. Last but not least, Nidus. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Yeah. yeah, amazing work by the art team, and yeah, we decided the the artist who built the mesh for Nidus um, got inspired to build a custom Kubro for it as well. So, <laughs> was that Pablo? <laughs> oh, it's dark. And you know, cosmetics are great, we love ourselves some fashion frame, but we also love to confirm perhaps that we are working on two Warframes simultaneously right now. The first of which, your first look is brought to you, um, Kevin Glint, who's an amazing community artist. We commissioned him to put this together for you. Oh wait, first is the Revenant, I'm sorry. Don't worry, Dean. <laughs> we are still working on this. Fine. It has more lasers now. You'll see it on the next dev stream. Just confirmation, <laughs> don't worry. But Kevin Glint brought to us um, a portrait based on our next. Oh. So dramatic. Oh, so dramatic. So this is code name Garuda. That's the current name. Yep. That was a Keith Thompson concept again, and he came up with the name as well. Yeah. So, wow. Are those uh, are those claws? Or no, there's the hands, and then there's claws. The other. The she's essentially her theme is gore. So ah, she is a gore, the gore, gore based gore. gore frame. Blood, meat, shields, but. I think the conversation we had is Valkyr is rage and yep. she is just indifference. She's going to be a bit more elegant. Elegant. Violence. Yep. Interesting. Fancy. Fa very fancy. Very fancy. Well, up until this point, we've shown you guys some cool stuff. We hope you've had a great time so far. But we have three computers there that I expect we should be using sometime no, soon. No, it's too uh, soon. Already? Yeah. Already? I'm yeah. scared. And I certainly need to invite Megan and Danielle to the stage to help me. And before I walk over, obviously this is a very big moment. We hope nothing goes wrong, but 
Um, there have been devs working nonstop, that many of them here today. Uh, I'm just gonna stop talking now because, oh, here it is. Deep, deep breath. This, uh, this is, um, yeah, I mean, there's been some data mining, so. <laughs> so we're not gonna show you the things that, uh, that maybe you already know, but we're, we are gonna show you uh, the next um, big expansion of Warframe. Uh, it's called Fortuna. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna do it in a squad of three this time uh, for reasons that will become apparent later on. Uh, and uh, the amount of work that has been done on this over the last few weeks shows a team uh, that when people say, DE, take my energy, they did. Uh, and they needed it, and so I really am so grateful. Uh, we're, we're just kind of the live stream crew and kind of like uh, the spokespeople for the company, uh, but I know that there are people in this room that work their ass off late nights to try to bring uh, their passion for the game, that, the your game, uh, to life and to uh, delight you and surprise you. And it, I don't know if this is awkward, but if you are on the dev team, do you mind just raising your hand and could we just have a little round Very of applause cool. for these guys? Very cool. Uh, thank you. Thank you. There's one thing that, that makes, uh, the, you know, besides maybe uh, shame and humiliation, that works too. Uh, but there's one thing that has uh, consistently motivated our, our team to work harder, to try more ambitious things or weirder things, and that is actually TunnelCon. They come here and they see you guys and they interact with you and they experience your love of what they're making. And when they go back, uh, there's a whole new light, uh, and I think hopefully we can share some of that with you today. So I'm, I'm going to stop talking because the demo is, what, 90 seconds long? 98 seconds long? Okay. So I'm going to try to shut up. Scott said uh, I won't be able to shut up because I'm going to get too hyped, but I'm going to try my best. <laughs> I love you guys, and I love uh, our team, and let's check out Fortuna.
Well, I don't know if you guys expected a chain gang song. Uh, so here we are, we're in Fortuna. And this is, uh, these people are called the Solaris. They are a body augmented uh, race of people that live in a debt enslavement to the Corpus Overlords, uh, specifically Nathaniel, who has returned to Venus to reactivate the ancient uh, Orican terraforming machines uh, above the surface. So we're gonna show you a preview of some of the things that are extensions and casting a new light on new systems. So there's kit guns for sec secondaries here. Let's show you a quick preview. Good stuff. And uh, I don't, I don't think we'll, we'll kind of gloss over the things that you feel are like, uh, you know, extending the systems you're already familiar with. But there's a really cool new modular system that Sheldon's going to tell us about. Yeah. So, so maybe you guys might have heard me talking about uh, Moa pets. Have you guys? You've seen MOA pets before? You've heard of them? Well, now you can make them yourselves. If we talk to Boone, we can select his head and a body. Yeah, and a base. And each of these things are going to determine the stats and how your MOA looks and what you can mod it with. And so you can configure it any way you want. You can put a hat and you can put a bow tie. Let's take a look. There he is. We've crossed the line, Sheldon. We're like clamming this is like yeah, yeah. player memes are infecting the game. <laughs> I do what I can. Yeah. Uh, but uh, there are new systems, and I think uh, if Rebecca goes over and talks to the business, we can kind of begin uh, something else. Uh, the business represents some of the uh, technological spearfishing. You can see in the tanks up there, actually. Nope, that's not where the tanks are. Yeah, exactly. Uh, these are the, the uh, remnants of the uh, Oricon terraforming uh, machines that work below the surface to bring uh, this, the bit, this flow of coolant to the surface to cool the planet. Uh, but secretly, the business has another agenda. How do you do work well there? My mission is to conserve this region's unique species. Yeah. You know, before the corpus drive them to extinction. I'm known as the business. Utico calls me. Uh, biz. To capture your chosen specimen, you'll need an echo lure and the appropriate tranquilizer. So let's address that. Walk around Fortuna long enough and you'll hear the name Solaris United. They fight for the workers, and they keep Neff honest. And if that sounds like it might be your business, find you to go. Stay warm, friend. So we're gonna go into the Echo Lure uh, a little bit later once we take our elevator ride up to the surface. But uh, let's meet the leader. Name's Yudiko, Neth Anyo's loyal floor boss, and when he's not looking, the voice of Solaris United. Let's us have a quiet conversation. I got something needs doing. If Biz says you're good for it, I'll take him at his word. You gonna make him a liar? Outstanding. Now get out there and void some sudden warranties. So, the surface of Venus is, you know, around 900 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, as we know it. But of course, Warframe takes place in a far different, far future world. So let's ride up and see what the state of it is. The Old Valis was a firestorm when we arrived. The Solaris bled, toiled, 
sweated and died for an age to make this place a reality. It ain't paradise, but I gotta say, feels good finally having someone to show it to. So the, those are the orbs that protect each of the Corpus base interests. Uh, they're like the lair mother to these locations. I think Danielle's gonna go and track one of those while uh, Rebecca and Megan uh, go work on this bounty. This is called the uh, Boreas Weeping Post. This uh, suctions and siphons up the coolant flow from a thousand years ago and brings it to the surface, creating a winter storm within the furnace of Venus. So we're in a, the eye of the storm right now. See that Taxman base dead ahead? Solaris United just captured it. Only problem? Poor Neff is under the mistaken impression it still belongs to him. Use that muscle of yours to convince him otherwise. Solaris United shall be eradicated for this outrage! The base is theirs, which means you can now take bounties here without returning. Weather like this, I do not miss my organics. So, uh, what do you need? Base locked down, comms up. Now, no time for a break. Utica's got more work for you. This landscape is massive. We'll keep watching. You, stay warm. Plains of Eidolon would fit almost in that basin we just walked by. This crew fell back to his church. Get in there and get our personnel roster back. We've so, got good people in deep cover who are dead if we don't. So maybe we need a way to get around that's a little bit appropriate.
Oh, what's this? It's poop! Elwilder, do you see that? The mink scat. <laughs> a sweet smell. They feed on the gene-altered foliage of flowers. See if you can track it. So this landscape is filled with returned creatures that are on the brink of extinction. We decided we'd punish Rebecca's bird-killing ways from last Tenocon with a whole new gameplay system to track animals, track them, and send them back for uh, conservation. So there's some interesting game mechanics for this, and let's, uh, let's see how good Rebecca is with the Echo Lure. Hmm, signs of grazing here. Possibly an endangered white-breasted vermic, judging by the bite width. And Welder, if we don't relocate this animal, the corpus will snatch it up for their feed and research division. Now, ready your trick, and see if you can mimic its call with your Echo Lure. A young male. Hurry, mimic its reply before it becomes suspicious and moves off. That's it. You've got his interest. Now we wait for the animal to approach. Stay downwind and hidden until you have a clear shot with your tranquilizer. If you spook the animal, We'll lose this opportunity. Excellent! Quickly, tag it with a beacon, and I'll send in a relocation drone. And up in the space. <laughs> but we still have that bounty to take care of. So I think it's time for some more radical K drive. Maybe Rebecca can get a bit creative, yeah. Oh, there's a good jump coming up. I hope there's not a bigger spider anywhere, because those are creepy. That enough guy sure loves himself. You're in my 
church tenor. And here, sinners pay for their sins. show you how to beat that yet. You guys gotta figure that out for yourselves. So I think, you know, we could show you the underground caves, we could show you the crazy mechanical fish, we could show you the lair orbs, but we want you to discover and explore this vast, alien, hostile world yourself. And we really hope you enjoy what the team has brought for you. Great work. Didn't crash, I'm so excited. I know. <laughs> hoverboarding is, well, K, well, K driving is the best. Yeah, the, uh, yeah. the hoverboard is amazing, the K drive. Oh, Tenno, you've crossed a line, and by the void, you'll regret it. What the shit? We're still being bombarded from orbit. I wonder if we can do something about that. systems all the way to your command. I have walked onto an obelisk in orbit, high above the valleys. Awaiting launch sequence. Are you ready for this? Exits aboard this spacecraft operator. 
please take note of the one nearest you. In the unlikely event of a violent decompression, safety lights will illuminate in the floor to guide you. What do you think? Capital in this sector. Be advised, they have a lot of defeat. Reinforcements are inbound. You guys want to see if Danielle, Meg, and Rebecca can blow up this capital ship? So do I. planetary defense grid that's still above Venus in orbit. Most of it's gone inert. And there's enough ship. My interceptors will take good care of you, Tenno. Incoming fighters, get to stations. Alright, so the crew is, is working here. Here we go.
gonna get close. So you need to coordinate the team. Meg's hit a barrier. Rebecca's got to go to tactical to disable it for her. Oh, first maybe use a little turret help. happening at the same time. Right now, if Meg looks out the window, she's going to see Rebecca flying that ship with Danielle on the guns. Target locked. It's time for the big gun. Full power to weapons. This is it, operator. Don't miss. Wow. All right. So um, I guess they liked it. We were we were we were a little nervous. Just a bit. We were. I kind of want to just cry, like. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. It, the developers. Now you know why I'm wearing a space hat. Yeah. That yeah. That has been subtle the whole time, and you know, so many people at Digital Extremes made that possible. Um, you guys, you know, have been working on this for so long, and it's just so fun to finally show you kind of what's uh, yeah, what's going on. Yeah. 
yeah. what's going on behind it. And but no, it's, it's not shipping in two weeks. I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. No, no. Um, but for that, we should probably give away our Power Plat prize here yeah. and at home. So we should give away 100,000 platinum to a lucky audience member. The winner here at TennoCon 2018 is Arlena Levine. <laughs> Arlena! Yeah. Congratulations! Oh. Congratulations! What are you going to spend your platinum on? Uh, me and my boyfriend are actually going to split it. Oh. So I don't know what yet. I'm probably going to get all the colors. Perfect. <laughs> we'll, we'll split it the prize in half for you. If you could just give Megan your account name and uh, we'll give you each half the prize. Thank you! <laughs> and our winner at home Someone watching on Twitch, a lucky Twitch viewer, just won a power plot at home, 100,000 platinum. Oh, we get to see all the names. Yes. All right. All right. I hope I win. Yeah, this could take a while. Yeah. Oh, we can like act like a prop. I see what you're doing. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. I can't wait to read this name. Who's it's it gonna be? If it goes through every. It's just gonna go forever. If it goes through every single person viewing, I'm not sure how many that is right now, but it's probably. A and the winner is Lamb Lamb eighty six nine two eight nine. It's a great name. <laughs> you did it. Now we should probably talk a little bit about. Like, I think I would just ignore that the demo happened and then went right to PowerPlot. That happened. Yep. Obviously, we'll have more information on you for you guys at future dev streams. But I don't know if there's anything else you guys want to say before we sort of. Steve, you you had a you had in your. Um... Rehearsal. Oh, yeah. you say you're going to talk about bringing the roots back to space. That I thought yeah, was very I nice. think I think uh, people here um, know the game's history well, and you know that we tried to make a science, a really hardcore science fiction game uh, called Dark Sector, and and it, and, and end up changing. It, and and we're still proud of what we did, but we still have a poster um, on on the wall of the office that I see every day that that I leave my office, and it is of a concept of of what we just showed you, a, a small group of really powerful, uh, you know, teched out ninjas in space, flying a multi-crew ship, working together, tactical engineering, fire suppression, turrets, upgrading the, their, their ship and boarding massive capital ships and destroying them from within. And really, the part that I love so much about that is just how much interesting interplay there is between the scales of Warframe we've been kind of playing with for a while, and we haven't had a chance to say, what if we tie it all together? What if we make it work all together? And I think that's, when I, when I saw it all come together, I thought this really feels uh, at home at Warframe. So I'm really excited to finish it. Yeah. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Yeah, and it's, I, I, there's, it's interesting, uh, just to be clear, Railjack is about uh, taking control of the solar rails and going into sectors unknown, sectors that don't have a lot of light, sectors that, that, that are beyond the kind of railroad of the lines that you're familiar with in the map. Uh, and so, it's not, no, no, no. it's not on rails, and, and, and that there's a complete flight model there, uh, and everything like that, so it's... Uh, it's, I don't know, I'm, I'm floored by what the team has done, and uh, yeah, it's like a dream come true for me. This is my, this is kind of, this part is like my dream game. Like, I love the kind of nerdy, you know, Star trek and kind of things, yeah. and managing the ship combined with that really hardcore action of being there, you know. Yeah. It's just incredible, and I know a lot of people at home are watching, you know, you're not feeling the energy in this room from the amazing yeah. individuals in our community who showed up to TennoCon 2018 and cheered us on on the... Like, yes! And we are, of course... Yeah. And we are, of course, um, 
sending everyone online, we're going to send you to twitch.tv slash guardiancon because we now have a two-hour Warframe block starting at 7 o'clock where they're, we're going to have Warframe partners talking about what we just saw for two hours. And, of course, if you can donate toward the amazing cause, it would be awesome. And uh, it's going to be an incredible kickoff after this. But um, And yeah. I met so many amazing people. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I can't believe this is the third year that we've done this. And now it's, you know, it's, it's grown and... Uh, but every time it's, I see the, you know, like the family, the familiar faces, and uh, I'm really honored to meet so many of you who very often say I've been playing for years. Someone came up to me today and said I've been playing since I was 12. Yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> and you looked quite adult, so. And, and each of you that we see every time we do these, you know, there's, there's people that we see, we really do feel like you guys are our family because we see you every time and you, you come up and it's like we're friends because at least, you know, we only see each other once a year, but we get to see each other. And I hope that's how it is for everybody in this community. Um, we love you guys. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you. And, um... Are we, are we going to actually finish early for a change? Well, I think there's one, you know. Oh, there's, there's something else? There's nothing else. There's one more thing? One more thing. One more thing. Okay. One more thing. If you haven't played the sacrifice, look away. Thanks.